Here I have Sony Xperia Z5 and let me show you how to accomplish bypassing Google verification the following device. So as you can see at some point of initializing setup process you have to input your Google email and password and let me show you how to bypass this Google protection. At the very beginning let's go back on your PC, on your, on your uh, Sony Xperia to the first welcome panel right here and let's choose visual aids. Then let's select TalkBack right here. Let's enable TalkBack by using that switcher. Tab OK. And TalkBack is switched on. Now let's type in the L letter on your screen. And now you've got access to global context menu. Let's choose TalkBack settings. Now you can switch off, suspend the TalkBack. So let's press together volume up and volume down to do it so volume up and volume down let's press it for a couple of seconds Alert, now you can suspend talkback let me do it by tapping ok excellent now you can use the talkback settings so let's scroll down let's choose help and feedback then let's use the searcher let's type in voice choose the first link now let's play the following YouTube video. Let's play it. Let's choose the share key right here. Let's choose the following link. Now you can use the YouTube. Let me make it smaller. Let's close this video. Let's choose more key right here and choose settings. Then select the about settings right here and choose Google privacy policy. Choose accept and continue, choose no thanks and that's it. Now you can use the Google searcher, so that's what we need. Afterwards, let's enter the following website, download. Dot hard reset. dot info right here let's choose it now let's make it bigger right here let's choose the sony folder let me do it excellent let's make it bigger again and from the sony folder you need to choose the frp Let's make it bigger again. Let's download the following applications. Shortcut maker right here. Choose update permissions. Tap allow Chrome to access photos, media and files. Tap OK. Tap open. As you can see the following information pops up. Let's choose settings. And let's enable the unknown sources right here. Tap OK to confirm it. Let's go back again. And let me download this application one more time. Let's choose allow. Tap download. Uh, the application disappeared in my case. So let me choose downloads. Just let's open this application one more time. Let's choose install. Now you can choose open. And that's it. Now let's use the following searcher and let's search for core settings. Core settings, let's tap it. Choose the first one, choose try. And let's enable the non-secure ADB. That's what we need. And afterwards, when you tap it, you need to choose restart now. Let me do it. Restart now. Let's wait until your phone shows you the welcome panel.
Excellent. Now you can switch off the talkback by using volume up and volume down. Let me do it. Let's tab OK to suspend talkback. And now all you have to do is simply connect your device to your PC. So let me do it. Let me connect my phone right here. Excellent. Let me skip the following installation and let's choose transfer files right here. Choose transfer files and let's leave our phone as simple as that. Now on your PC you have to download the FRP unlocker. The link will be under the video in the description and from the following website you can choose FRP unlocker and download this on your PC. Then let's tap the the place when you have your the unlock FRP downloaded and let's simply uh, unpack the following folder and now you can use the unlock FRP. Let me open the application and let me choose unlock FRP right here. So let's do it. Let's choose unlock FRP. Make sure that your phone is connected. As you can see unlocking is in progress and the success message pops up. So now you can disconnect your device right here and let's choose get started. And as you can see the home screen of your device pops up so it's a good sign. Now you can use your device, let me do it, let me tap apps icon right here, choose not now, choose settings, scroll down to the bottom of the list, choose about phone, scroll down again, let's tap a couple of times on build number, you are now a developer, you can go back, choose developer options, let's enable the OEM unlocking right here, tap enable, let's go back choose backup and reset it's under accounts and services then let's select the factory data reset right here at the bottom of the page read the information choose reset phone and tap erase everything right now the device is performing the hard reset operation but this time the phone is also erasing the factory reset protection so let's just wait until the welcome panel pops up and then you will be able to activate your device without any Google account. So let me just wait and let me show you that your device will be free of the FRP lock. Excellent, the welcome panel pops up, so let's go quickly through the initializing setup process. Let's choose get started. Let's tab accept. Here we've got the internet connection. Let me choose the Wi-Fi only. Let me skip inserting SIM card. Let me set up device as a new. Let me don't use any network for setup. Let me tap continue. It's a good sign that we can skip the connecting to a Wi-Fi. Let me skip the fingerprint protection. Let me leave all of these features as it was in the default, tap next, choose not now to experience services, skip and choose finish. That's it, as you can see just activate your device without the Google account, so it means that you will successfully erase the factory erased protection. Thank you for watching, please subscribe our channel and leave thumbs up under the video.